Help us design the next mech in our upcoming Kickstarter. Leave us your ideas either on YouTube or on Facebook in the comments below. The starter box will come with two mechs, the American Bulldog and the Russian Viper. We're working to lower our production costs so we can offer additional mechs in the core starter box. But even if we can't, this mech will be an early stretch goal. The Prowler will stand about 5 inches tall and be mounted on a 3 inch by 3 inch base. Let's look at the evolution of this model so far. Here's the first version with robot legs. The Gatling guns have no elbows, and the cockpit is very boxy. Version 2 incorporates heftier legs that look like they can take a hit. By the time we get to version 5, the Gatling guns have articulated elbows, and the waist is much better defined. The rear of version 7 shows the addition of elbow and knee pistons. The reactor was on the waist. And up to this point, the model had a cargo shelf, so soldiers could strap crates and supplies to the mech like they did during earlier wars, like World War II. Version 8 reshapes the cockpit so it isn't so boxy, and adds some character to the shoulders. And that takes us to the current version. Let's walk through some of the details. The Prowler is controlled by a single pilot seated in the cockpit with only a small viewport to maximize protection. The pilot sees with a series of visible and IR sensors around the vehicle. A pair of headlights can be used to help see with visible sensors or to light the area for soldiers on foot. The main weapons are a pair of heavy Gatling guns on each arm. There's also a shoulder-mounted copperhead missile pod. The elbow and knee pistons remain on the prowler's back. The reactor's been moved up behind the cockpit, and a winch has been added at the top of the waist. There's also a number of vents. From the side, we can see the armor protecting the knee and shoulder joints. So now we're looking for your help. How do you think we should detail this model further? What should we add? What should we change? Design details like cameras, wire bundles, or piping? Where, like corrosion or cracks? How about battle damage, like bullet holes, or an exposed pilot in a damaged cockpit? Please share your ideas in the comments on YouTube or Facebook. What do you need to see in this model for you to say, I want that? We need your help to build a better game. If you'd like updates on our Kickstarter, please follow the link in the description below and subscribe to our newsletter. If you liked this video, please subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment below. We need your help to build a better game.